more discoveries have been unearthed in the West. I mean, this is so amazing. Only a few weeks ago, I did a report on how over 300,000 artifacts were discovered during an excavation in Greece. And now in the UK, between a pub and an Aldi supermarket, there was a royal burial ground that was uncovered during an excavation. And it is considered to be the UK's version of King Tut. Before I get into this story, I just want to say, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel and please share this with other people. I tend to cover things on arts and culture. So if you're interested in rich cultural history of the West, welcome to my channel and please share it. Now, back to the story. Back in 2003, workers uncovered a grave with artifacts during road work in Prittlewell, I think that's how you say the name, near Essex. But 15 years later, expert analysis of the artifacts have come back and they will be on permanent display at the Central Museum. Sky News reports when a team from the Museum of London Archaeology excavated the site, they said they were astounded to find the burial chamber intact. Tooth enamel fragments were the only human remains, but experts say their best guess is that they belong to a 6th century Anglo-Saxon prince. It is said to be the oldest example of a Christian Anglo-Saxon royal burial. Some 40 rare and precious artifacts were unearthed in this burial site. Among them was a lyre, an ancient harp, and a 1,400-year-old box thought to be the only surviving example of painted Anglo-Saxon woodwork in Britain. Gold coins, the gilded silver neck of a wooden drinking vessel, decorative glass beakers, and a flagon? I think that's what that is. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Believed to have come from Syria were also found. Each had been placed within the tomb as a part of a carefully choreographed burial rite, indicating the resting place of a man of princely lineage, they said. Locals nicknamed the unknown grave occupant as the Prince of Prittlewell and the King of Bling because of all of the riches buried alongside with him. Kara Phipps from Southend Museum Service said that a copper alloy hanging bowl gave experts a real idea of just how significant this burial might be. It's thought it was probably acquired as a gift, so it gives a sense of how significant this person might have been. He had friends in high places, she said. It had been suggested the remains were those of Siebert, Saxon King of Essex from AD 604 to AD 616, but carbon dating and other tests have indicated the tomb was constructed between AD 575 and AD 605, at least 11 years before his death. Sorry, I don't know if I'm saying those names right. Sorry, UK. <laughs> After 15 years of research, archeologists said that their best guess was that the tomb belonged to Sexa Siebert's brother. The site was found in such an unexpected place and locals are really proud to have this rich cultural history found in their area. The grave provided a snapshot of a really interesting time when Christianity was just creeping into the British Isles. They would have been just on the transition between having pagan burials with all your gear, but also having these crosses, she said. So, so many great findings this year and considering that this one is in the UK and I happen to be in the UK, I might just try to pay a visit and show you guys this stuff when uh, it becomes available to the public. I think it's really, really important that we are interested in our culture and our history because if we are not interested in these kinds of things and we're just focused on the left and what they do, then the left will just tell us that we have no history and that we have no culture. So stay posted on all of these amazing findings. If you like that and wanna see more, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, press the little uh, bell to make sure that you get notified when I have a new video. I will be making more videos on arts and culture, so stay tuned and also follow my live streams. We'll be discussing all these things and going in depth about them.